This is the Star Wars The Black Series Sergeant Jin Erso in her Jeddah outfit. This is the regular release of the figure and not the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Let me just straighten out this figure. Okay. I put the Stormtrooper there just for size comparison. Okay, here she is. Very, very nice. Um, quick look at the packaging. Turn off a bit of the light. So, I rebel. Finally, I get a Jinner. So this is the figure I've been looking forward to getting the most. And, and of course, the, uh, the rest of the team. But this one was something I had to pick up. Uh... It, from the looks of the pictures, I don't have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive as of this time. I'm probably not going to get it. But looking at the pictures on the internet and some of the reviewers that have reviewed it, it looks to be exactly the same figure. Ah, uh, there could be some differences in shades of the green, grays, and browns. Maybe this one is a little bit darker, but it looks to be the same figure. Uh, the likeness to Felicity Jones eh, is okay. It's not that great, but I am liking the figure. It's well detailed and it looks, if, if you've seen reviews of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, it's probably the same thing. You won't, there's nothing new uh, to be added here. She comes with her blaster, which you can put in a holster. And just clip the lock right on there. She also comes with her shawl, which you can just fit over her head like that. It can be a pain to remove uh, because you'll have to clear the nose before you can do that. So that's nice. It looks the same as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, the detail, sculpt, paint, love it. Articulation looks to be the same as well. Ball joint neck on a hinge, ball joint, uh, ball jointed upper torso. It's got this, uh, it could be removable, but molded in uh, part of her jacket. The sleeves are on her arms, bald hinge shoulders, hip, uh, shoulders, elbows, and wrists. This one goes up and down, while this one goes in and out. No waist articulation, uh, ball hinge, uh, ball jointed hips, and it gives her a little bit of a curve on her uh, butt and on her hips. Now, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, but the lower joint doesn't seem to bend as much as the upper joint. I've noticed that. Uh, instead of a calf swivel, it's got a upper ankle swivel and ball hinge uh, ankles uh, with the rocker joint. So all in all, I, I'd say it's a great figure. It's a great rendition of the character. And I'm generally, generally well pleased and impressed uh, with the figure. Uh, here she is with some of the other female figures. <laughs> Very dusty female figures we've had in the past with the Black Series. Princess Leia and the... Uh, Slave outfit, Jabba slave. Here is Ray. Could she be the mom? Nope, probably not. That's what they said. And uh, that's fine. All right, trooper, stand up. Uh, the figure looks really small. If you've seen my review of uh, K2SO, um, she feels a little bit short, like a half a centimeter short. And finally, We'll put Ahsoka at the back because she doesn't stand all that great. So, Ahsoka's pretty tall, actually. Let me just fix a little bit of the legs have, have been warping. Okay, so there they are. Very, very nice. Just an impressive figure. Overall, the sculpt is great. Paint apps as accurate as can be as can be. Uh, the head skull could use a little bit more likeness to Felicity. Felicity Jones. Uh, love the the holster molded into the belt, which is a loose piece. It's not a, se it's a separate piece. Uh, the gun. Just great. Great figure all around. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of collectors will be after this as well as fans of the new Rogue One movie. 10 out of 10 for me. I, I like it. There's nothing to complain about. Very, very well done. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Star Wars The Black Series Sergeant Jin Erso in her Jeddah outfit in 6-inch scale. Thanks for watching.